have HRCs, analyses, and the development gap. How do we reduce the development gap and improve the development of different countries? There are two different methods, aid and intermediate technology. There are different forms that aid comes in. Uh, these resources take the form of money, food, healthcare, and improving the skills of people to improve the development of a country overall. Aid can be split into different categories, so aid can be short term. It can be provided straight away to help people in the form of food or something that comes after a natural disaster. It's not going to help a country develop, but it helps people okay, uh, survive. Long-term aid is designed to build up the development of a country and improve the infrastructure. Uh, we have different types of aid, like bilateral aid, which goes from one country like the UK to another. Uh, so the example there is Kenya. And we also have multilateral aid, where aid comes from high-income countries to an organisation, an NGO, non-government organisation. So this example is the World Bank. And then the World Bank would give out aid to LICs again, like Kenya and other African countries and South, and South American countries. Uh, aid can be voluntary, so it can be given without any repercussions, it's just done as a nice thing. And there can be tied aid as well. So aid is given to a country with the promise that they would eventually pay it back in some shape or form. Different examples that we have of aid, different case studies. We have the Tear Fund project in Uganda, building wells and improving the quality of life of people that live in villages. We have the Oxfam Give a Go campaign in East Africa, which is long-term aid designed to build people up to be independent and have those skills. We also have intermediate technology as well, technology that is appropriate for the area that people are living in. So the GECO stove in Kenya is affordable and uses materials local to Kenya to allow them to be able to cook food. And we also have um, a pedal-powered dehusking machine for corn in East Africa.